What's up YouTube, Vito here. Welcome to my first tutorial video. This one's gonna be about strafing. So I'm gonna help you guys become better at strafing with various techniques and uh, I guess things you should know about strafing and the, the mechanics that go into it and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, oh, by the way, this is for my new setup. By the way, you might have noticed the webcam is different. Uh, yeah, I got a new computer. So the videos are now gonna be in 60 FPS. So there's that. You probably have been requesting 60 FPS for a while and um, I think it definitely makes it more enjoyable to watch, you know, so that's a good thing. But yeah, enough of that, I'll just uh, hop right into this. Alright, so strafing. It's a pretty straightforward mechanic. Obviously, for those who don't know what strafing is, strafing is just the action of like moving left or right. Uh, it's a pretty common term in first person shooters. And um, obviously, it's a huge factor in, um, I guess, one of you on battles, pretty much whenever you see someone in a game. Uh, most people who are like somewhat good at the game will try to juke their opponent, uh, dodge bullets, you know. And uh, get out of their way to you know get advantage in the battle, land more shots, make them miss more, and just you know secure um, safer kills, I guess, so I can have a better chance at winning. And um, yeah, that is assuming like you're somewhat good at the game. Some people just like to go there and just hold forward, you know. That's not exactly viable if you want to be a high level player. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to improve that aspect, because you know it seems pretty straightforward, but I think there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So first of all, when you strafe. You want to mix it up, right? You don't want to be predictable. Being predictable is the worst thing you could do in a first-person shooter because people don't know exactly where to aim, where to predict you, where you're going to be, and obviously you don't want that because that means you can throw a perfect grenade, make you one shot, kill you even, like snipe you perfectly. So you don't want that. You want to mix it up, right? Uh, something people, a, a lot of people go for is like a left, right, left, right strafe. Right? That's, in my opinion, kind of predictable. Sure, sometimes people will miss, but you know it's kind of predictable. So one thing I will say is that sometimes it's good to just completely hold one side like just keep going one side and keep shooting the whole time and that's good enough to like throw people off a little it might not seem like it because you know oh he's going that direction he's not gonna turn around right but most people expect you to do left right left right so if you're doing that then it's kinda throwing them off because they're expecting something else right and that's a goal just throw them off in some way so there's that a real important mechanic is also crouching you know in, in uh, Halo 5 crouching is Pretty, it really reduces your hitbox pretty significantly. As you can see, if you look at the line of the background, uh, you can tell that crouching makes a pretty significant difference. You're pretty much like half your size by crouching. And you can do it while moving in this game. And in previous games, you couldn't really do it while moving. So crouching is a huge aspect of strafing this game. Uh, you want to know when to do it, obviously. Because if you just crouch right away, people will kind of expect it and just adjust in consequence. What you want to do is just like strafe a little, crouch sometimes. And you, you also want to hold the crowd, the crowd down, right? You don't want to just... Sometimes I see that and that's a big mistake. People just like, spam their crouch button like this. And you're not really, that's not really helping you as much as you would think because... You know, when you crouch all the way down, you're way, you're like half your size. But if you keep spamming it, you're like... You're kind of still up there, right? You're not really like half your size as much. So if you're gonna crouch in a strafe, you want to hold it down for like... At least like one or two shots length. Or duration, I guess. So just shoot twice and get back up or something, but don't just like spam it or press it really quick because it's not going to do anything, right? Just hold it down. Uh, you might just decide to just crouch the whole time. That, that works sometimes, you can just crouch walk, but since you're moving pretty slowly, it's fairly easy for your target to adjust to that, so... You want to strafe, crouch, get back up, you know, mix it up. Don't, be, don't stick to like one thing, make it too predictable. So that's crouching. In this game, uh, trust things are pretty... Uh, pretty core mechanic to any gunfight and moving around. So trusting, you know how it is, uh, you, on bumper jumper is just pressing X, that's what it does, that's what a trust is, it's pretty straightforward. But you gotta be, like, you don't want to be too predictable when you trust in the battle. People like to just run one side, jump, and trust the other, right? I think, in my opinion, it's fairly predictable. Usually when you jump one side, you're most likely gonna trust the, the other. A lot of people go for that because it throws your, your aim off. Well, it's pretty much the best way to throw someone off, someone off right? Jump one side towards the other, because they have to adjust like, you know, it's kind of hard for uh, them to adjust to that. So, since it predict that one strafe is predictable, it's good to like, go for something else sometimes. Like, trust the same side you want to jump, let's say I'm jumping right, keep going right, right? Well, I was left on your screen, but I was moving right, my right. Yeah, sometimes it's good to just go to one side that they would not expect you to, because most people expect like, jump one side towards the other. You know, kind of what I was talking about at the beginning, keep it unpredictable. So if you jump one side, trust the same one, that can throw someone off pretty significantly. 
Uh, you're just gonna be careful not to move like towards the ledge or like off the map and just thrust off the map, you know, that would be kind of silly. So that's one way you can mix up thrusting. But there's also something you should know about thrusting in this game. And uh, y there's like a really important timing to thrusting. And uh, you don't want to wait until like you're about to be one shot before thrusting, right? Because this game's on dedicated servers, hit registration is really, really good. And there's a good chance that because of lag compensation, you know, the game assumes there's a chance that the game will lag, right? So because of lag compensation, on dedicated servers especially, uh, there's a good chance that when someone shoots you on your screen, it's gonna connect as a kill. Well, it's your one shot, they shoot you, and even though you move on your screen because of lag compensation and hit scan, the game will assume that the bullet actually connected before, like, you moved. So it's, it's important to trust before your one shot because there's a good chance like it won't gonna uh, your trust will not register to the server in time, and people will just uh, land their shot. So you don't want to wait until your one shot. Usually like two or three shots in, somewhat low. That's a good time to trust. Don't wait until your one shot. So uh, three shots in, you trust one side, and that's a, the best timing in my opinion to get a good trust in. But about trusting, there's also a good there's a timing to one you should trust, based on your uh, I guess when you're shooting, there's an optimal timing for that. All right, so we're back in first person here. Pretty much for every gun you shoot, there's a like a cooldown between bullets. Obviously, like a rate of fire thing where you can just shoot back right away. And obviously, the pistol is no exception to that, right? So you know, there's a delay between shots, right? I can't just spam it right away. Like, that's not how it works. There's a delay between shots. So as much as possible, you want to thrust as soon as your shot comes out, right? It's kind of hard to explain, but pretty much right after you shoot your your bullet, that's a good time to trust. Not as soon as you're about, like as soon as you're able to shoot again, you might just waste some time. You know, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically, like you want to optimize your trust timing to right after you shoot. As soon as you shoot, you want to trust. That's the best timing to not waste bullets, not waste uh, trust cooldown, any of that. So basically, as soon as you fire, you, you want to trust, right? So I fired like I'll show you again. I'll do one, two, three. Then I'll trust as soon as the third shot comes out. See what I mean? So I fired three bullets, trusted as soon as I could, and that way I could shoot as soon as I come out of thrust, right? So I didn't waste any bullets, that was the most optimal way of doing it. So just to show you again, one, two, three, four. That was pretty quick, I was still in a trust animation, I was able to shoot, right? I might just slow it down so you guys can look at it. But the point is, uh, if you optimize when... what well, it's mostly for like uh, precision weapons, automatics you don't really have to worry about that. But for precision weapons, it's good to know exactly when you can trust. It really comes in handy with light rifles, um, BR snipers, everything that has like a somewhat slow rate of fire. Um, it's good to know exactly when is a good time to trust. And as much as possible, it's right after you fire a bullet. Don't wait almost when you're about to shoot again, right? Hopefully that made any sort of sense. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it comes down to just mixing it up. No, don't be predictable, right? Say if you killed someone, by using like a certain strafe, then you want to mix it up next time, right? Because that person is going to expect you. Most people, at least high level players, remember the habits of certain players. And that's what really makes them stand out above the rest, right? It's just remembering and learning quickly and adapting to people. And that's one thing, that's really what Halo comes down to. Being unpredictable, always having like a, a backup strategy that people can think of. Two minutes left. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that was it for the strafing. I guess tutorial. I hope that helped you guys in some way. If you like the video, like these type of videos, uh, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, uh, let me know what sort of videos you like in the future. I definitely have some more ideas for tutorials, but I still welcome your, your guys' feedback. I really appreciate it. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.